I don't have a script for anything, so I'm gonna improvise what I'm gonna say. Imagine your opinion matters when you believe in zodiac signs. Is that even possible? I don't think so. Anyways, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna show you how to start a good Jurassic Park collection. So, step one, buy a good shelf, honestly like a sustainable shelf as you can see like the one behind me where you don't have to like oversaturate your toys For the next step, please try not to mix two different franchises or more together because um, in my opinion if you put one shelf and one franchise that'll be much better, much more like clean or neat I should say because uh, for example let's say you're putting in one shelf like three different franchises like Jurassic Park, Star Wars, and Harry Potter. People are gonna see that and be like yeah. It's kind of a mix and match, it's not really my thing. As if like, if you put only one shelf with one franchise, they'd be like, damn, that's a pretty cool collection for the whole entire franchise you have, instead for them like looking elsewhere. So yeah, one shelf, one franchise. And another thing, please try to avoid overlapping your toys over each other since uh, that doesn't look very organized, it looks more like a hoarder problem, so. Yeah, if you put a lot of space, but not a lot, but like if you put like a decent amount of space between your toys, it looked like a pretty decent shelf and toy collection so that people can watch and be like, damn, I have a friend who collects Jurassic Park toys and it's pretty cool. Instead of like having tons of toys over each other and looking and it might look like a hoarder problem. So yeah, you don't want to have people thinking you're mentally crazy over dinosaur toys because they're gonna think it like you're a man-child and that's a bad reputation in my opinion but yeah keep it organized keep it give it a little bit of space and keep them organized that's all. next step please try not to collect Hasbro toys especially the Hasbro from 2015 the one from 2001 look pretty decent but uh I don't know, maybe I say those look pretty good for the ones from 2001 because uh, I grew up with those. Those were like the first Jurassic Park toys I had. So I might be biased, but that's just my opinion. They look pretty decent. But the ones from 2015, oh my gosh. Please try not to collect those because you're just wasting your money, in my opinion. That's just my opinion, but I'm talking by facts. You're just wasting them because look at those. Those look horrendous bro those look like not even toys those look like the boogeyman those look like monsters i've seen i've heard some people say they like the hasbro 2015 toys bro i don't know but those people aren't sane in my opinion because i mean look look at those those aren't toys those are like monster figures bro those are like disgusting it looks like i don't know it doesn't look like dinosaurs it looks like something else out of this world so yeah, please try not to collect Hasbro toys because you're just wasting your money into like 
a company that doesn't care about your opinion in Jurassic World Matters, so please collect Mattel and other Jurassic Park toys other than the 2015 one. This is just my opinion, but uh, I necessarily don't collect the same dinosaurs again and again uh, just because, you know, they're the same model, just different paint. For example, um, let's take the Herarosaurus, all right? Let me show you. Okay. As you can see, we have the Herarosaurus from the Battle Damage collection. It has this pink color, and we have this Herarosaurus from the Dino Rivals. I'll, I'll do a close-up. So, as you can see, both of these dinosaurs have the exact same model. But the only difference is that they're different, um, what do you call it, paints? They have different paints and different, like, box that they come in but they're still the same model so you're just wasting money so if i were you i wouldn't waste much time on these just buy one model in which you like the painting on the dinosaur and that's about it because they're just same model different painting you know brother from another mother i should say so yeah please keep that in mind last but not least when you put them on your shelves uh if you put them like on a chronological order, like Jurassic Park 1, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and Jurassic World 3, that's coming out in 2021. If we put them in those manners or dinosaurs from those manners, that'll be pretty cool. Or if you put like the same dinosaur species, like the Ceratopsian, which I'm going to show you right now on your screen. Um, if you put like ceratopsians together, carnivores together, like theropods together, those those will be pretty cool in my opinion. Last but not least, enjoy when you're hunt hunting for these toys at Walmart, Target, or Sears, or anywhere else you can find them because it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. So yeah. So if you have seen my YouTube video from the beginning to the end, please hit that dislike button and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.